Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how you can use the Internet of Things in the travel sector. And I will track a bag with a smart and connected device using cellular networks. Despite the fact that only 1% of bags are lost in airline travel, it's the constant source of stress for most passengers. And waiting at the baggage claim, wondering if your bag got on the plane, can be very frustrating. Therefore, I will show you how a device can be put in a bag to track its position and then used for analytics and mapping. And I will use the ThingSpeak cloud to track the bag on a map. I will use a board called Fona from Adafruit. And it's a complete GSM module that can be controlled by a microcontroller like an Arduino. You also need a SIM card, a battery and an antenna. To connect everything, you need a breadboard and four jumper wires. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the Arduino VCC to the GSM module's VIO port, connect the Arduino ground to the GSM ground and then connect Arduino pin 2 to the GSM transmit pin and the Arduino pin 3 to the GSM receive pin. This is the Arduino code or sketch to get the current location using GSM positioning and send it over GPRS to the server. And after the initial include of the software serial library on line 1, a variable is created for it on line 2. In the setup, the software serial communication is initiated on line 6 and then the APN for my operator is configured on line 7 and the GPRS connection is open on line 9. The eternal loop starts by querying the current position on line 15, wait for a reply on line 16 and get the position value on line 17 to 18. And it's also using the function on lines 29 to 43. Then an HTTP connection is initiated on line 19, the URL is set on line 21 and the request is made on line 23. Finally, the connection is terminated on line 25, and then I wait so that the position is reported once a minute. You sign up for a ThingSpeak account and create a new channel to get the API key for writing that you need to insert into the code. You can get the raw position data on the channel page, but if you want to see the position on a map, you can create a new plugin with this code. And I won't go through it in detail, but it basically queries the channel for the last reported position and then shows it on a map provided by Google. Here you can see how it looks on my channel. And note that ThingSpeak is open source, so you could also set this up on your own server. In a real world scenario, it would probably be a good idea to add an accelerometer to the device so that it can sense when the plane accelerates and brakes and use that to stop and start the reporting of its position. This will also allow for a much more energy efficient solution as the GSM device can be turned off and the Arduino put to sleep. I will come back to that in upcoming videos. So that's how you can use the Internet of Things in the travel sector. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.